Hello everybody, welcome back to another Buns video. And as you should probably know if you live in the world, the World Cup Final is finally here. <laughs> finally! And so it's between France and Croatia. And who's gonna win? You know, these a lot of people think France will. They have a loaded roster. It's valued at over $1 billion of the players' total values. But Croatia is a very good team, too. They've proven a lot of doubters wrong. So who's going to win this game? Who's going to come out on top? What do the teams need to do to win? I'll go over all that today in this video. Um, and I will provide my expert Michael analysis on all of this. No, God! Now let's get into it. So what will France need to do to win? Well, I think the biggest thing... First, well, Pogba and Conte will need to really step it up in the midfield. With Rakitic and Modric really dominating in there, they're two of the best midfielders in the world, really. Pogba and Conte will really need to try and neutralize their presence in there. And it'll be tough for them because France runs a 4-2-3-1, which is by nature kind of weak in the midfield. So they'll really need to step it up there. They'll need to be a big presence in that midfield area. Um, I think they could do it. Conte's good. Pogba's been extremely good on defense, but they know Modric and Rakitic, so they'll need to step it up there. Another big thing France will need to do to win is Griezmann needs to be that veteran attacking leader. I have not seen him really turn it up this World Cup. I think he'll need to in the final. I feel his younger supporting class, such as Mbappe, will struggle against France's... I mean, not France's, Croatia's seasoned um, uh, veteran defense. And um, uh, Griezmann, who has seen it all, basically, will need to take over that leadership role, take the pressure off Mbappe, and be that guy up top. Can he do it? We'll see. He hasn't done it so far this World Cup, but he'll need to do it. And he'll need to put in effort as well. He may need to drop back to the midfield more to um, uh, help out in the midfield area, as that is where Croatia wins. But for France to do well, he'll need to um, uh, step it up, be that leader. Now for Croatia to win, they need to um, uh, have a, continue their great defense. They've been playing great so far, but they'll need to uh, keep it up, you know. Um, uh, they're, they've been very stout, but they'll need to keep it up. Their group comprised of Lovren and Vita and such. I had to look hard to read a piece of paper. I can't memorize their names. I had to read some stuff I wrote down. But they'll need to keep up their great defense, keep up the effort. I've loved Croatia's effort. Um, a lot of defense is about effort in soccer, to be honest, and they have so much effort. You've seen it every week. After they played two straight um, uh, overtime games, they came back again and gave full effort, even though they were just probably gassed. So I'm um, uh, keep up the effort, but they'll need to do it because Mbappe will wear you down on the side he's fast so they will need to keep it up keep playing hard keep up that effort um uh, another big thing is Perisic and um, uh, Mandzukic will need to continue to be options up top for Croatia um they need to they're basically Croatia's attack Modric is great but he's a distributor he passes the ball most of the time Mandzukic and Perisic are the guys that are gonna finish for you and for Croatia to win, these two will have to have big days. They'll have to, you know, shoot really well, be dynamic, make great runs. Um, sorry, Modric can get it to them. They just need to, you know, get open, make the runs, and finish. And they need to do that for Croatia. So, who do I think is going to win this game? Let's move my face over here. Who do I think is going to win? Well, this might sound controversial, but I have Croatia winning. Bro, what are you talking about, man? And, you know, the haters can hate in the comment section on my predictions. But um, uh, I think Croatia is going to win. Their defense is just, they're gangsters. They're great. Um, uh, they play so intense. They, um, uh, they always bring full effort. Um, uh, and, and, you know, they do look like gangsters. They fill the part. But, um, uh, their defense plays great. And they control the midfield. Um, yeah, here, here. <laughs> they control the midfield. The midfield is just such an important area of soccer. It's like in American football. 
if you're able to control um, uh, the ground game, you just wear people down. And that, when you control the midfield in soccer, you wear people out. And Modric and Rakitic do that better than anyone I've seen. Rakitic is top-class player. Modric might be the best midfielder in the world, him or Kevin De Bruyne. And um, uh, they continue to dominate that midfield. And France's midfield area is kind of weak, to be honest. And I feel these two control it really well, and they will expose that area of France's game. Finally, I, the biggest thing, I think, is Perisic and Mandzukic are criminally underrated. Um, uh, they continue to play great day in, day out. They make amazing goals. Their goals have been amazing lately. Just superb goals. Um, uh, club teams are finally beginning to clue in that these two are the real deal. Manchester United is offering Perisic a deal. And so um, uh, these guys are really underrated. And I think that will be a huge thing for um, uh, Croatia winning this game. Um, uh, another reason I think Croatia is going to win is they... they um, uh, what should I call it? Their seasoned defense will um, uh, eliminate Mbappe, I think. Mbappe is only 19, keep in mind. And he's really good, but in the end, you can only know and be so good at 19. I feel Croatia's defense, who's really old. See, the average age of Croatia is 28. The average age of France is 26. And the average age of France's attack is even younger than that. So um, I think Croatia's really great, high-effort veteran defense will be able to shut down Mbappe and those guys. So the biggest thing, though, about Croatia is they've got heart. They um, uh, continue to, when everyone's doubting on them, when it looks like Croatia's just about to lose, Croatia comes back and keeps fighting. In three straight games now, they've been down and come back to win in extra time. And, you know, I don't think France has that. France is a bunch of sissies. Bonjour! You cheese-eating surrender monkeys! Honestly, they're wimps. And um, uh, it's been that way throughout all of history, honestly. And so um, uh, I do not think France has that same heart as Croatia. So I think Croatia's going to win this game. Let me know what you guys think. Tell me in the comment section down below. Love you lots. Buns out.